G'day guys, Oliver from Fit Golf here. So today we're gonna to follow on from last week's glute strengthening exercises and move into some stretching. You're literally only gonna need a big beach towel for today. So I'm gonna show you through the exercises and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so first up is our glute crossover stretch. Okay, and then we're gonna move into our dynamic rotation, which is designed to help separate your lower body from the upper body, which is very important in the golf swing. So part one and part two. So part one, we are going to cross our left leg over our right, then we're gonna lift our right leg up, then we're gonna reach through and hold our right leg and just pull that right leg back towards your chest and you're just gonna feel a stretch through the left glute. Now we can just gently rock and just add a little bit of pressure as we go, making sure that the ankle is just above the knee so that you get the most stretch through the left glute. Now of course, you'll change that over and do it on the other side. From that same position, then we're gonna lie back with our arms by our side. We're gonna lift that leg up this time we're using the strength in our leg and our core to lift this leg up. That's providing resistance against the left leg. And then we're going to turn away from the left leg to the right, but keeping the shoulders down. Now we only go maximum halfway to the ground. So this isn't about how far you go. It's about just creating a bit of stretch through the left glute. And it's also about controlling the movement with your core. So you really get a lot out of this low body separation, a bit of core activation, and a great stretch through that left glute. Now obviously you'll repeat that on both sides, uh, 12 to 15 repetitions on each side, do that a couple of times and you'll really feel the benefit. Okay, so last but not least, we've got a sequence of exercises that we're going to perform simply using a towel. So we're gonna hit the middle of the hamstring, we're gonna hit the, the medial or the inner thigh area, and then we're gonna hit laterally up into the glute as well. So really great little sequence that we love to do. So grab a towel, roll it up as tight as you can. Here's one I prepared earlier. And we're gonna lie on our back, place the towel around your the arch of your foot. We're gonna start with our left side. Now I just want you to extend the leg you don't have to lock the knee, and then we're just gonna pull the leg back a little bit, and we're gonna feel a nice stretch through the hamstring. Just roll the ankles around a little bit, and you'll just feel the different muscle fibers stretching, and gradually the idea is that we would increase that stretch to try and increase our range of motion through our hamstring. Then we take the band with our left hand, slight bend in the knee, right arm out to the side, gently let the leg fall to the left, and then you can gradually increase, increase the stretch. So you'll feel that through your inner thigh now. Just holding that stretch, no need to do anything too fancy. Be really careful with this one. Go easy and build into it. It's quite a delicate area, the inner thigh. Coming back to the top, taking the band with the right hand, place the left hand out to the side, and then holding again, rotating the ankle, feeling those different muscle fibers. So we can feel that right up into our glute. Okay, come back to the top. And of course, we'll do that on both sides. Now that exercise is more of a hold. So rather than repetitions, if you hold that for 30 seconds or so per stretch, that will be really adequate. If you wanna go for a minute, even better. So I hope you've enjoyed those exercises today. Um, same as everything, make sure you're doing it on both sides. Uh, repeat everything a couple of times. And let's see if we can start to build a nice little program with what we did last week and this week and what we're gonna do moving forward. So enjoy your training, stay healthy.